the matter of DOT's plan to remove hundreds of feet of failing sidewalk along the south side of Main Street last year was a case in point. Department of Transportation came to MHRB. There was a lot of public discussion, a lot of input. Department of Transportation personnel on site at that meeting listened and heard our concerns. They withdrew their planned demolition of that sidewalk and they came back with a plan to rehabilitate that sidewalk. That's when the system works and it worked really well in that case. However, since then, there's been a myth promulgating around the town of Mendocino, and that is that MHRB trumps DOT. And this is simply not true. Case in point, last, this past May, the Board of Supervisors passed Ordinance Number 4201. Uh, and it was adopted on the 13th. Ordinance of Board of Supervisors amending town and county code. Uh, Eliminate prohibiting parking on the south side of Main Street in the town of Mendocino. On the south side of Main Street, in the town of Mendocino, between miles post point three zero and mile post point three one one, sixty feet for the purpose of a bus stop. This essentially eliminated three parking places, but this matter did not even go before MHRB because it was clear that MHRB did not have jurisdiction. It was ex ex exclusively a Department of Transportation matter. I'll reiterate my point. Mendocino Historic Review Board does not have the authority to approve any application which allows any new non-historic development encroaching into the county right-of-way. Within the town plan, they may waive county setback requirements. This particular project, this building, the Apple Shed, is in fact a legally non-conforming building, which is to simply say it was in its location prior to the adoption of the town plan or any county zoning codes. As it stands right now, it's one foot seven inches inside the county right-of-way but it's legal because it was there before there was a town plan and codes. And that's all right. Nobody's arguing that. But it needs to be paid attention to, that it's already an encroachment within the county right-of-way. Some of this application's significant adverse impacts are clearly articulated in the November 14th letter, 2007, submitted by your Department of Transportation. I will su summarize. We are opposed to such authorization, authorization for the following reasons. Safety, maintenance, legal and property issues relative to real property in the County of Mendocino. We recommend the improvements be limited to the McCallum House property. MHRB's approval of this project sets a highly unwanted precedent for both the town, MHRB, and the county. And I'm asking you to, to uphold my appeal and overturn MHRB approval of this. I'd like to, let's take a walk through time, through Mendocino. I sent over a packet last week, I believe you re received it of three historic photos. They show very clearly. First photo is the dark one. If you'll notice the church, which is now corners of the mouth, the belfry is open. And that's, what, that's the clue that says that this, in, so, so far as my inventory is concerned, this is the earliest shot. You can see the apple shed in place. There's no date on this. The second photo, which is a far shot, shows the apple shed clearly. The belfry is covered up. The note on the Kelly House website, which is by the far a very, very fine website, indicates that the, this was taken before the, Mac House, the McCallum House was moved. And it was moved in 1909. So this photograph dates from 1898 to 1908. The final one, I think, is the really telling one, 1965. Um, I believe it was a Norwegian photographer, maybe Danish came through the town, took this photograph, and this is pretty much what the apple shed looked like until the 1970s. In the 1970s, property was purchased by the Norrises, and was converted. It was 
rehabbed into a new use. It was no longer an apple shed. It became an office. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go to the next packet of photos so we can understand the color photos for the supervisors. The black and whites, I'm sorry to everybody else, but these are expensive. Uh, there are survey maps that show the county right-of-way as being 40.75 feet wide, or 40 feet 9 inches wide. This fence runs along the south of Albion Street. It's facing west. The fence line runs more or less along the survey lines shown on the county maps. The second photograph is farther along the west side of Albion Street, Kelly House, and you'll see if you look down that panorama, all of the construction, all of the buildings, all of the fence lines are running right along that survey line. There is no formal, formalized encroachment. Photograph three is the north side of Albion Street, corner of Lansing facing west. This building is set approximately one inch in the county right of way according to measurements from the corner iron at the corner of Albion and Lansing Street. Uh, note that sidewalk ends farther along as shown more clearly in your photograph four, four there is a flower box that extends into the county right-of-way thus blocking any future logical straight line development for pedestrian use of a sidewalk Building uh, photograph five is the west end of the utility shed further west and the red ribbon marks the red survey marker and note that the flower box as I said prevents any further westward expansion of the sidewalk. This southern side, the southern side of this flower box, the one closest to the street, measures out to intrude four foot five inches into the county right of way. Photograph six is the west side of the flower box. You can see that. Uh, and the steps to the McCallum House barn, landscaping retaining wall, and the apple shed. This is the building in question. And finally, the same setting, south elevation, measuring from the northern edge of the Kelly House, the southern edge of the apple shed is 39 feet 2 inches away from the northernmost edge of the Kelly House porch. Or you can arithmetically reach the conclusion the apple shed currently encroaches one foot seven inches into Albion Street. Now let's look at the, pro the project that I'm appealing, and that's the packet of renderings I gave you. You probably already have these, but you might notice that this is a little small. If I went to planning and building up in Fort Bragg and this is what I was given, it's very difficult to read. So if you'll flip the page, you'll see a ground view of the